Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. As part of today's video on Sitecore Content Hub, we will see how we can make use of Web Client SDK and connect to a Content, content Hub environment right from our Visual Studio solution. So there are different things, there are different steps involved here. Uh, so the first thing is we need to create our Visual Studio solution. Uh, the second thing is we also need to create an OAuth client because authorization happens via OAuth client. So we also need to create an entry for OAuth client in our Content Hub environment. Then we also need a user, uh, you, you know, by which we can connect to our Content Hub environment, and we will see how to create that user. And finally, we will also test if the connection uh, is working as expected or not. So in this uh, four-step process, let's just start with the first one, that is creating a Visual Studio solution so let's just quickly create one so i'm just going to create a new project from here and this can be and you know um, uh, this can be uh, for this demo basically i'm just going to create a console application so let's just select the console application template from here click on next and just give some name to your project so i'm just giving some content uh, content hub dot sandbox right and I'm going to assign this directly to my desktops and uh, this seems to be okay click on next target framework is the latest one click on create okay so here what I've done is I've just created a blank solution uh, a blank uh, console based sol solution here Right, so this is all done, right? So the next step is <coughs> uh, we also have to make sure like uh, that we we have an OAuth client uh, entry created there. So I'm not going to create a new one. Let's just leverage the one which is already there. So you can see here, uh, if you go to the manage section, uh, you have this OAuth client. So just click on that. And there are different OAuth client which you can see by default. So what we are going to do is we are going to leverage this logic, um, logic app. So if I just click, quickly create on this uh, edit icon you can see the name is logic app client id client secret redirect url so currently what is uh, important to us is uh, the client id and client secret so this is there and then <coughs> we also need uh, a user so for this demo what we are going to do is uh, i'm you know we are just going to create uh, we are not going to create a new user let's just leverage the user which is already there so we are just going to use uh, this script user here so let's just go back to manage section and go back to this yeah and uh, <clears throat> let's just copy the you know the basic um, stuff from uh, from doc.stylelabs.com so the first thing is we also uh, we also need to um, uh, you know this package which we are going to download from here is part of uh, a specific content hub feed and for 2015 uh, Visual Studio 2015 plus you can basically make use of this feed and if it is 2012 plus you can make use of this feed so for me I have I have already included this feed into my solution so if I just click on this one uh, this is already there uh, so if I just go to tools NuGet package manager and my package manager setting so on the package sources you can see like we, I already have this uh, SL partner so you know this NuGet feed already part of uh, my NuGet solution so we are good with that <clears throat> so the next step is once we have access to this one we just need to install uh, install this NuGet package which is stylelabs.m.sdk.webclient um, so let's just copy this one and go to our solution click on tools new get package manager manage new get package for solution and just click on browse and click on style app .m .sdk web client and it is let's just change this to sl partners yeah so we have the style labs .m .sdk web client right so let's just select the project uh, install the latest one which is 4.1.3 which is okay click on install here and okay so now it is trying to restore uh, the packages just say yes and now it is installing right so now it is all installed okay right 
so now so now we have this um, installed in our solution so the second step is let's just go to see because we had um, you know we are not going to make uh, uh, we are not going to you know over complete the solution here let's just uh, copy over the very simple um, uh, uh, code which is already there in your um, in which is already available as part of your doctorstylelabs.com so uh, from the steps perspective we have access to our uh, NuGet feed here then we also have installed that package which is stylelabs.m.sdk.web client and then let's just go to the authentication and uh, as I mentioned, like I already have this OAuth client uh, added to my, uh, uh, like uh, we are not going to create a new OAuth client. Well, we are just leveraging the existing one. So we already have it. And then uh, we let just copy the basic, you know, code from here. So let's just copy this and paste it here right so <clears throat> what you have done we have just copy over copied over everything uh, uh, you know from the template and uh, let me just quickly add strike its block so that you know we don't see something weird here so exception ex and then okay so let's just copy over this put it here and then um let's just give some console okay and uh, message so this is okay and then let's just uh, uh, add related namespaces here so we are good with this and then yeah so this is all done <clears throat> now let's just populate the OAuth password grant um, object so we uh, we need to provide a client ID, client secret, username, and password. So let's just go back to our instance again on the manage section. Go to OAuth client, and from OAuth client, you can, as I mentioned, we are going to use the Logic App one. So click on Add It, and then co copy over the client ID. So our client ID is this, and client secret is also this, and uh, we are going to use script script user and if i'm not wrong the password is i think this one right so we are all good and then uh, if you go to the documentation again so you can also see like we <clears throat> we in order to test our configuration if our configuration is all good or not we also have you know this m client dot test of the connection async method which we can call which will give us access to um, to understand like if uh, everything from the configuration is all good or not and let's just copy this and let's just put it here so this client let me just change this to client here and then uh, if you just scroll down here you can also see uh, for C-Sharp uh, uh, greater than 7.0 uh, you know we need to, um, to support async we have to change the signature so let's just quickly change the signature of so of our main method so which is okay here and now we are good right so this is the basic thing we have done and if I just go here let's just put it here and call it as uh, connection successful trade okay now let's just test it yeah and another thing which we have to do here is we also have to change our instance name uh, which we are trying to connect to and in our case it is this one so let's just put to replace the URL also so we are good and let's just quickly test it So now there are some build errors. No. Okay, okay, okay. We missed something in here. Let's just do that. Sorry about that. And let's just see what we see here. Right, so now you can see the connection is not successful. 
and let me make a small change here uh, let me make this user itself as one two three so this user doesn't exist and let's just review the error which we get there now right so now it is saying unable to authorize with the specified credentials which is okay because because we don't have any such user which is which has this one two three in the last and let's just do one more test quickly let's just try to change the um, the in host name as well and let's just see what change we see here now right so now we see like no such host is known right so you know that's the basic quick test uh, to you know to connect your uh, to connect your site co uh, content hub instance right from your solution and once you have the connection up and running from your solution to your content hub environment there are different things which you can do which and which is something which you're going to do in our next videos like we are going to uh, you know create some entities we are going to update few entities delete some entities using uh, web client sdk so that's what we are going to do as part of our following uh, videos and um, I hope you know you you find this helpful and uh, uh, pretty much you know that's it I just wanted to cover as part of today's video uh, thanks guys for watching and if you have any questions around around this uh, please let me know and I'm just going to push this uh, you know push this code to my uh, github account and you can just quickly take a look else it is not required because it is already available there uh, th thanks guys thanks for watching